Hello everyone, this is Cooler Master representative PIM with today a small tutorial on how to set a macro for your Cooler Master Storm gaming mouse. And today I will be using the Cooler Master Storm Mizar. So why would you use a macro? By pressing a mouse button you can only execute one command. But when using a macro you can execute multiple commands at the same time. As an example, Battlefield. Throwing a grenade at the heat of the moment takes time especially if you need to switch back to your weapon. By using a macro you can grab a grenade, throw it and switch back to your weapon with only one mouse button. Let's start with the Cooler Master Store Miser software. As you can see this is the main panel of the Miser gaming mouse. We have different options, advanced, macro, profiles, library and support. Today I will be using the main tab and the macro tab. The macro page might be a bit overwhelming, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Let's set up a basic macro. First I will select a profile. I haven't named my profile yet, so I will use profile 0 for now. Let's skip the select a button option. I will do this later on in the main page. As an execution I will select press to run once. Now I will click on new, because I'm creating a new macro, and I will name it Cooler Master. Voila! Here we have our macro. The time option might be a bit tricky, but it's really easy. If you select with time, it will record the time of your keystrokes or mouse clicks. Without time, you can select a cycle that meets the requirements for your macro. For now, I will select 12 milliseconds. At the bottom, I will select insert, and I will choose the option keystrokes. I would like to write a word with a single mouse click. There's a record and pause button. As soon as I click on record it will start recording my macro. So let's start. Now I will type Cooler Master and I will pause the macro so I won't record any other keystrokes. Now it's really important to save the macro and there are two more options. Load for loading other macros and delete to delete a macro. Let's move back to the main page. Here we have an overview of the Cooler Master Store Mysore and the available mouse buttons. Now I will assign a button for my macro. I will select button number 5, also known as the backward button. I will click on the list and I will select the option macro. And as you can see the macro that I've just created shows up in the list Cooler Master. Now I will select it and after that I will apply. It's programming the mouse memory. Now I should be able to execute the macro. Let's open up a notepad. I will click on button number 5 also known as the backward button and here you go. Press to run once, 12 milliseconds, Cooler Master. It's over 9000. Let's create another macro for gaming. I will select Profile 0 and I will skip Select a button. As an execution, I will select Press to Loop. Click on New and I will name this Profile Gaming. I will choose Without a Time Cycle and I will pick 12 milliseconds once again. Now click on Record and click on the L button, the left button, a single time and then pause it. Why did I choose the L button? Most games use the L button as firing button. I selected press to loop so it will loop my macro until I hit the button to cancel it. Now save the macro and go back to the main page. Select button number 5 again and select the macro gaming. Make sure to apply it once again. Alright, let's test our gaming macro. Sam and I are really serious about this. First I will use the L button to fire shots and you will hear me clicking on the background. After that I will activate the macro with button number 5 and you won't hear any background noise or any clicks. Left mouse button.
Let's use our macro, but the number five. Deactivate it. Activate it. Deactivate it. Thank you for watching my video on how to set a macro on the Cooler Master Storm Gaming Mouse. That's all for now. Bye!